Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to see interior space. Which one has more and how much? Highlander, Grand Highlander. In our volunteers, we've got the current generation Highlander. This is an XLE 2022 and this is a 2024 Grand Highlander Limited in Blueprint. First of all, let's test the space. 16 cubic feet of space in a Highlander. This is not going to shut right. I'm going to have to duck down and I'm wedged pretty well in here. So let's get this back up and then we'll measure. Yeah, see, this is what I had to do to not get crushed. So to get this 16 cubic feet of space, let's just measure. These are just gonna be ballparks here. We've got about 29 inches tall to get to the top point. And then I tried to put the seats straight up in both of them. This is about 20 inches deep and then we'll go to its widest point right here this is going to be right at about 45 and a half inches now the grand highlander that's going to have 20.6 cubic feet as opposed to 16 cubic feet so let's get me all stuck in here oh yeah there's more room already and my headroom seems like it's going to clear i'm not even going to duck down and we'll see what happens here All right, so I'm gonna stay in this position and move it back up. I do not move once. Look at that, it fits me. All right, so let's measure this. We had 29, I believe, last time. We'll go to the top here. Looks like about 32 inches, so maybe three inches more tall. How about wide, and then we'll do deep. This one's gonna be, come on, Jeff, work the ruler here. All right, there we go. Looks like we've got about Oh gosh, that's just about 49 inches. So the last one was 45 and a half, I believe. And then we'll measure out this way. This one's gonna be 24, so it's four inches deeper. No wonder I could fit in there. So I'm in the Highlander and we're gonna see behind the second row versus the Grand Highlander second row. This has 48.4 cubic feet of space, which is good. There's no problem with that. Let's measure the height at about its tallest right here um, maybe about 31 inches tall let's measure back of the seat to right here where the cutoff is about 45 and a half inches between the two shortest points that's about 45 and a half and then I guess we can go widest point if we want to between the cup holders basically on the outside of the cup holders so let's check this sucker out and that one's going to be about right at about 55 inches one of the biggest differences interior capacities is going to be between the second row and the lift gate here because it's 57.9 cubic feet of space as opposed to 48.4 in the highlander that's pretty significant as a matter of fact i can almost well i can lay down just like that if i wanted to so now let's measure we'll do the back first yeah, it's a lot longer, my friends. Uh, 50, let's go here, 53 inches. Big difference. We'll do the tallest point now. Right here, that's about, uh, oh gosh, about 30, 33, 33 and a half inches. Between the wells. All right, that is gonna be 45 and a half and then at the widest we've got I'm working on it here <laughs> all right we've got uh, 57 and a half inches so clearly it extends wider this way it's taller and it's certainly longer crawling in the Highlander here we have 84.3 cubic feet of space it's enough for me to lie down here just like this. My head just about this far from it. My feet just about this far from it. But you could fit two people comfortably here. You'd have to pack it with pillows and depending on bench seat versus captain's chairs, you could certainly sleep overnight. So 
let's do what we're here to do. Let's see if we can measure. This was with the seat a little bit more back, it looks like. I'll make sure that one's equivalent here. About 82 and a half inches. If you have the seat more forward, we'll do it that way. 84 inches, so somewhere in that range there. And if I'm measuring across this way, I could probably get to around maybe 61, 61 and a half inches. And here's what we're doing in Grand Highlander. We have 97.5 inches. Remember, I was a couple inches from my feet, couple inches from my head. Now look at this. I can almost stretch out like this while I'm doing my yoga exercises. So there's a huge amount of space here. So let's test out that length behind the first row. Oh yeah, this is 88 inches here. And let's see what that one is. Come on, baby. I sort of know how to use a tape measure. Come on, Jeff, you got this. <laughs> that one's about 89, or I'm sorry, just under 89 inches. If I went this way, it'd be 89. Pretty strong there. So let's measure across. We'll do it this way, just like this here about 62 and a half inches wide from the edge of the door to the edge of the door. So interior dimensions, the biggest number is cargo volume, I think we can say. 97.5, 84.8. So big difference there. What's significant about 97.5 total cubic feet behind the first row, Sienna has 101. That is really close. And the reason why people buy Siennas is because of the freaking space. It's really, really close. Four cubic feet difference. Maybe even less than that. I'll have to check the exacts. That's pretty big. So anyway, let me know what you think of this one. Are you looking for a Grand Highlander Limited, XLE, Platinum? Would you rather choose a Highlander maybe? Or a Grand Highlander? Thanks so much for watching. Please follow Fred Anderson Toyota YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And we'll see you next time.